Some ladies have asked me, Gwendolyn, my breasts are actually secreting milk and I'm having this discharge coming out of my breast and I'm so worried because I am not pregnant and also I am not breastfeeding. What can I do about it? Hello everyone, I'm Gwendolyn Halle, popularly known as the medical professional with the difference because I bring you juicy knowledge on your health, on hygiene, on medicals and a lot more. Let's roll in. Come back. Now, today we'll be looking at seven causes why a woman's breast will be producing milk or <coughs> giving a discharge when she is not pregnant or breastfeeding. This is also called galactoria. Now, the first point on our list is a tumor on the pituitary gland. Now, the pituitary gland or the pituitary is the main organ in the body, the main gland in the body that is responsible for secretions of glands. It is responsible for the other glands in the body that secrete juice, that secrete hormones. So it is very important. In this case, in this case we're talking about prolactin. It actually determines how high your prolactin goes and how low it goes. That is, it works in collaboration with your menstrual cycle, in fact, with your body as a whole, as a woman. Before I continue into this, I would like to say, ladies, if you notice any change in your body, please go see your doctor. Prevention is better than cure. Don't allow a situation to go for so long before you go see your doctor. You know, our bodies are very sensitive and fragile and we need the medical attention, all the medical attention we need. Even if it's just going for checkup and there's nothing they find, it's better than sitting and just assuming that you're fine. I continue with my point, the pituitary. Now, when you have a tumor on the pituitary, one in 10 people in the world have a tumor on their pituitary and most time it doesn't really affect the levels of prolactin because of the size. It may be 4 milliliters, 4, 4 mi, uh, mm or less. But when this tumor is really big, it's really massive on the pituitary, it will affect the the levels of prolactin, of how your prolactin is being managed in your body. This is why you need to go to your doctors so you get the right test done. And most time, when you have um, a tumor on your pituitary that is being in your, in your brain, you have constant headaches and also you have vision problems. So these are things you need to look at for. The second is tight clothing tight clothing, tight braziers. This may sound a little bit funny, like how am I wearing tight clothing? How is that going to affect? But yeah, that is true. If you wear tight clothing, a lot of tight clothing, tight bras, especially padded bras, you're going to be experiencing these secretions of milk discharge. The third point is stimulation of the breast or the nipple. Now, you may not be sexually active or you may be sexually active and your partner or yourself stimulates your breast very often. Know that whether you're pregnant or not, you're going to be having secretions because your body is, respond, is responding to what is happening around that area, around your breast, around your nipple. So it will trigger your pituitary to then release milk to then release this discharge. And this is something you need to look out for, to know that once you are having any form, I'm not talking about when you're bathing and you are, or you're wiping your body after having a shower, or you're putting oil on your body, or you're grooming your skin, you're moisturizing your body. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when there's this constant stimulation around the nipple or around the breast, Mind you, the breast has got nerves. The breast has got nerves. Next point is herbal concoctions or herbal drinks. You know, 
there, <clears throat> there are some herbal concoctions that when we take, it actually messes up with this, with the, with the uh, secretion of prolactin in our body. Prolactin is the, is the hormone responsible for the secretion of milk in the body, in the breast. It is the only hormone, the only, and it is triggered by the pituitary. Every hormone in your body, whether it's estrogen, te testosterone, uh, uh, progesterone, any other hormone that is released in your body through any organ, it is triggered from the pituitary. So your pituitary is very important, very important as a human being. And it's just very tiny and it's around this area of the brain. Actually, you can actually send a needle through your nostrils and it touches your pituitary. So it's well kept from the way your brain is being structured, it's well protected that any trauma here doesn't mess, out, mess up with the pituitary around this area. So if you're taking any form of concoctions, any form of plantain leaves mixed with the, 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 the back of a uh, bitter leaf tree, mixed with purple leaves, mixed with uh, uh, a corn leaves and you mix them together, they may be herbal. Some of them may trigger your body to produce breast milk. They may alter the normal regulation of prolactin in your body and cause you to produce milk. The next point is some medications. In this case, I'm give, I'll give an example, like the medications that are, that are used for uh, treating gas, gastritis or gastric ulcers. Some of those medications actually alter, send messages to the pituitary and the pituitary increases uh, uh, the level of prolactin and yeah, you have that. And then the next point is hormonal changes. You may have some hormones in your body, hormonal change in some parts of your, in some organs of your body that may actually affect the other area. That means that if your pituitary is releasing a hormone, let me say a thyroid uh, 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 hormone, that's to do with your thyroid, and that, 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 that change in that hormone in one part of your body may actually alter the level of prolactin because your body is in one area. Your body is one whole system that has networks, it's networked, it's seen together. Your body is not, one part of your body is not de detached from the other. They work together. What I have to say is, when you notice that your breasts are producing milk, you start noticing that you're gaining a lot of weight. Sometimes you'll be, you'll be noticing that you're, it's like you're growing again, that your hands, your feet are getting bigger. You have to take note of those changes. You have to take note if you're putting on a lot of weight. I know a lot of women who are putting on a lot of weight because their breast is producing milk and producing this milky discharge. It is, you know, it is a, 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 a serious problem for them. So if you're a lady who is actually experiencing galactoria, that means your breasts are secreting milk or giving out a discharge or there's a discharge coming out of your breast, you need to see your doctor because this constant accumulation of milk in your breast can actually lead to non-cancerous growths appearing in your breast. That means you start having little growths and most times it may lead to abscesses, breast abscess, which are not good and you may need to get them surgically removed so that your breast will be okay. But removing the abscess or, moving the, or removing the non-cancerous growth may not really stop the accumulation of milk in your breast. So this is why I'm advising every lady, if you notice this change, if you just squeeze your nipple a, a day and you notice that you're having this discharge, or you're having this whitish or creamy discharge out of your breast, even if it's not whitish or creamy, see your doctor. See your doctor. And I would advise that you see an endocrinologist, not a gynae, an endocrinologist. And 
a medical oncologist and a surgical oncologist and also a neurologist or a neurosurgeon look for these specialities that will help you if you need any form of help you can or suggest or you want me to suggest a, a hospital around the globe that does this that handles these issues with care with uh, super specialty with excellence pop your question down below or meet me in box and I'll give you their details I know a lot of doctors in this who handle these cases and they do a superb job superb job so ladies we are together we are together to stay healthy because our bodies sometimes act abnormally but what is most important is that we understand our bodies so well that when something is off we take it to the people who can help us solve these issues let me take this opportunity to thank all my returning subscribers for all your love i mean all your hugs and everything i'm so grateful to have you and if you just stumbled on this video or on this channel i would like to say you're welcome so click on the notification bell and subscribe to join our family and i'm telling you the knowledge you're going to get is going to be Till next time, bye-bye.